fall so I'm back with another makeup tutorial and today I thought I would do kind of like a coppery purpley burgundy type look it was mainly inspired around this lip color which is by ColourPop let's see if I can hear this it's kind of messy but it's ColourPop in Ellery and I just really like this color so I thought I would do a fall look inspired by that and then copper and burgundy tones and I just really hope you guys like it I worked um, pretty hard on it um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. Okay, so starting off, we are going to be priming our face. And I'm just taking the L'Oreal Magic Lemmy Primer and I'm applying that straight to my cheeks, my forehead, and my chin. And then I'm taking a Real Techniques brush and I'm just using that to buff that into my skin. Um, I really like this primer a lot, actually. It makes your skin look really glowy and really healthy, which I like, especially since I have really dry skin. Alright, and now I'm taking the NYX Color Correcting Concealer, and it's just a green shade, which is supposed to cancel out redness on your face. And for me, my redness is always around my chin, my nose, and then sometimes on my cheeks. And I know the, color, the concept of green concealer is weird, but trust me, it works. <laughs> All right, and for foundation, I'm gonna be taking the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Foundation. Um, I'm not sure what color it is. I wanna say N2, but I'm not sure. And I'm just taking that and applying that to my face, basically. And then I'm gonna be using that same Real Techniques brush, and I'm just gonna buff that into my skin. And then you can see the greens fading away. All right, I went ahead and did my eyebrows off camera and I just used the NYX Micro Pencil and Taupe. And then for my concealer, uh, it was the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And I'm just using that to cover up any blemishes and then some of the green that I had left over and then to cover up the uh, dark under eye circles that I have. And then I'm just using my finger to blend that out. I was watching Friends and got distracted. All right, so for my under eye highlight, I'm taking the L'Oreal Magic Lemmy Pen, and I'm pretty sure this is in the lightest shade, which I know it's in the lightest shade, and I'm just taking that and applying it to the usual areas, which are under your eyes, on your chin, down the bridge of your nose, and on your forehead. All right, and now for my sponge, I'm taking the Real Technique sponge and then the L'Oreal Infallible Pro setting spray. And I'm actually gonna be using that setting spray to dampen my sponge. And you can see, I just kind of squeeze it in there. And then, yeah, I'm just taking the sponge and I'm blending out the highlighter. And you'll notice with that sponge, I kind of go over the rest of my face just to kind of blend away those brush strokes that are left behind from that Real Techniques brush. And it really makes your uh, face look really smooth. Right, for your eyeshadow primer, I'm using the um, MAC Painterly Paint Pot, which I find works pretty well because it gets rid of veins and discoloration and it doesn't crease. And then for the under eye powder, I'm just going to be taking the Laura Mercier Brightening Powder and then just a BH Cosmetics Powder Brush. And I'm going to be using that to set the under eyes, the eyeshadow primer, and then around my nose. All right, for the rest of the powder on my face, I'm taking that six color palette from Beach Cosmetics and I'm just using the powder that's in there and I'm gonna be taking that and putting that on the lower half of my face. All right, for eyeshadow, we're using the Beach Cosmetics 120 color palette and I'm just taking this matte orange and I'm using that on a Sigma E25 
and I'm putting it in the crease first, but then I'm going to smoke it out. And then after that, I'm going to be taking a BH Cosmetics blending brush and just use that to go over the edges so there aren't any harsh lines. All right, next I'm taking Cocoa Bear by Makeup Geek. And I'm going to be using that same Sigma brush, and I'm just going to put that lower in the crease to add more definition. All right, for the orangey color, I'm taking Weenie by ColourPop on a MAC flat shader brush. And I'm just going to put that on, it's the inner three-fourths of my eye, I would say. And I'm really packing it on there, but it didn't give me the color payoff that I wanted. And I wanted something more orangey, so I'm going to be taking MAC Mythology, and I'm applying that over top of Weenie. And then after that, I'm taking Burlesque by Makeup Geek, which this is the like purpley orange shade or purpley burgundy shade that I really like. And I'm using that on the outer V of my eye and just kind of packing it on there. And then after that, I'm taking the BH Cosmetics Blending Brush and using that to blend away the edges. All right, and now we're taking the Naked 2 palette from Urban Decay. And for the brow bone highlight, I'm using Foxy, which is basically just a matte white shade. And then for the inner corner highlight, I'm taking Booty Call, which is a white gold shade, just on a pencil brush. All right, now I'm curling my lashes using the Sheer Mirror Eyelash Curler. And then after that, I'm just going to put on some mascara, which is the Maybelline Push-Up Drama mascara, which to be honest, I just bought because Gigi Hadid was advertising it, but I really like it. All right, and now I'm taking that same orange shade we used at the beginning, and I'm using that to smoke out my under eye. And then after that, I'm going to be taking Burlesque and putting that closer to my lash line for added definition and just to tie in the color. All right, now I'm just taking a Revlon liquid liner and then for my lashes, I'm taking Kiss Lashes and Shy and I'm just applying those with some tweezers I got from, I wanna say it was Benefit Cosmetics. And there are the finished eyes. All right, so for the rest of my face, I'm gonna be taking some bronzer and I'm just using the ColourPop bronzer in Paradise Cove. And I'm just putting that in the hollows of my cheeks, on the temples of my forehead and on the sides of my nose and my chin. And for blush, I'm just going to be taking the BH, or it's not BH Cosmetics. I'm going to be taking ColourPop in between the sheets using a BH Cosmetics angled brush. And I'm just putting that on the apples of my cheeks. And then after this, I'm going to be highlighting. So I'm using Lunch Money by ColourPop just on a BH Cosmetics fan brush. Which this is again, kind of like a white gold. And I'm just putting that on my cheekbones, my nose, and then my cupid's bow. That highlight's banging. All right, for the lips, I'm taking Ellery by ColourPop, which to be honest, I don't wear lipstick that much, but this was pretty easy to apply, and I blended out the edges with my fingers. And I really hope you guys like this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye. Oh, man.